Over the last 75 years, the Weatherspoon Art Museum has assembled one of the largest collections of contemporary and modern art in the Southeast. And right now, an exhibition of Japanese woodblock prints is creating a winter wonderland entitled In Falling Snow. Stephanie Borland takes us to the museum on the UNC Greensboro campus in the heart of Greensboro. Captivating images of sophisticated entertainment to romantic vistas were the inspiration of the ukiyo-e style of art, popular in Japan from the 17th through the 19th centuries. It was a very active um, point in Japanese culture. They focused so much on the arts with their drama, their music, their visual arts. Ukiyo-e translates into the floating world. Once only interpreted as a Buddhist term for sorrow and grief, the populace reimagined it into a time of fleeting pleasure. Floating world itself was an active, complex culture that included everything from geishas and the brothels and the no and kabuki drama. This ephemeral experience took shape in these woodblock prints. There are multiple blocks, a block for each color. A print might be printed from 10, 12 blocks, which is extraordinary. It was a detailed layering process. However, mass production ultimately enabled not only wealthy merchants to purchase the prints, but day workers as well. These 22 works of art, an exhibition entitled In Falling Snow, currently on display at the Weatherspoon Art Gallery at the University of North Carolina Greensboro, are just a small part of the 450-piece Lenore C. Wright collection. Dr. Lynn Wright, Professor Emeritus of History and Political Science at UNCG, systematically built the collection over decades and generously gave it to the Weatherspoon. But what was so remarkable about him was not only did he become a great connoisseur and collector of Japanese prints, he studied, he read every book he could, he looked and looked and looked, and then he started seriously purchasing them. At first, he purchased them so that he could show his students some of the actual culture. He thought it, they would be a great teaching tool, and then he just got the bug. Japanism became a prominent trend attracting the attention of contemporaries in French Impressionism, from Manet to Monet and more. A number of them collected the Japanese prints because they loved the, not just the imagery, but also the compositions and the colors and, you know, like Degas was a collector of Japanese prints. This is just one of more than a dozen exhibitions the Weatherspoon creates each year, from emerging artists to thematic collections they curate from their 6,000-piece catalog. We focus on modern and contemporary art. Uh, we're only one of two universities in the South that do that, and we are definitely the leading modern and contemporary public university art museum in the South. And we're the only one in the state of North Carolina. A collection the surrounding community has supported for 75 years. It's an amazing assortment of art from its quantity to its level of depth. Greensboro residents Tracy Oliver and her daughter Zaria Muhammad just discovered the Weatherspoon and they're impressed. I liked how it had some of the older and then how it has the newer art as well and then how some of it was kind of incorporated and then it's just like you said it was like wow this place is so close and then this is something we could come back and do on a weekend event and see what the difference and changes are they made. So it was a really nice first experience but we will be back. In Greensboro, I'm Stephanie Borland for North Carolina Weekend. The Weatherspoon Art Museum is located at 500 Tate Street on the UNCG campus in Greensboro, and it opens at 10 a.m. Monday through Friday, and on weekends, it's open from 1 p.m. to 5 p.m. The In Falling Snow exhibition runs through February 26th. 
parking and admission to the museum is free. For more information, call 336-334-5770 or log on to weatherspoon.uncg.edu.